England has a rich history from kings to empires and scientists. A place that I've always wanted to visit is an obscure farmhouse in the countryside that takes quite a bit to get to. After trains, taxis, and a bit of a walk, I've come to Woolsthorpe Manor. For me and most science teachers around the world, this is a pretty special place. It's not so much the farmhouse that we're interested in, it's actually the garden surrounding the house. And not just the garden, but a specific tree, a Kent apple tree. You see, this tree right here, as legend has it, is the famous tree where the person who was born in this house, after tea, went for a walk and observed an apple falling. It's not every day a science teacher gets to reenact a famous experiment and demonstration of Isaac Newton, but here we go. The Kent apple tree on Isaac Newton's birthplace and an apple from that tree. Same result. Any thought? Why does the apple always seem to fall towards the earth? Why doesn't it fall perpendicular? Or, for that matter, rise up? But it always falls down. Perhaps there is a force that pulls it down. And of course, by now you know that the person we're talking about is Isaac Newton. And the invisible force that he worked the details out is gravity. It's here in this house, this farmhouse, that Isaac Newton spent a year and a half working on his principles of mathematics, the laws of motion, how things move. From a simple apple, today, we can go all the way to rockets, to the moon and back, and even why the planets are held in orbit by the gravity of the sun. And it all started right here by Isaac Newton. That year of wonderment also led him to do amazing work on light and using prisms to split the light. In fact, that bedroom right there is where he worked all that out. So from very humble beginnings in this farmhouse is where Isaac Newton was born and came back to make significant discoveries about the world we live in. They're called laws because they're supposed to work here, there, everywhere, even in space. And it's really kind of cool to be here standing and walking in the same garden that Sir Isaac Newton worked out gravity and how light can be split into different spectrums.